Uh, very excited. We're checking out the beta for Deepest Chamber today. It is a... I hesitate to even say brand new, because it's not out yet. Um, it is a uh, in-development deck-building roguelite. I've been sponsored to play it. I'm very excited to check it out. If you like what you see, if you're in the chat right now, you can type exclamation point Deepest Chamber, and you can go to the Steam Store page, and you can wishlist it. If you're on YouTube, you can click on the link in the video description to do the same thing. All right, let's talk to this individual. You are back. All of you, in fact. Good. We are done for. If you end up like the others, try again. Find a way out of here. I will do my best. Now, have patience. We might need to move our camera slightly um, to put us in a good position. Years ago, on a calm, still night, the people of Dol Mean slept. A blinding light erupted from the tallest tower. Within moments, it surrounded the entire city. The glowing dome heated up stone and metal. With the flames came a suffocating smoke. This is the story of Mouth's first shard. The king decided to move the whole city underground, but the magical barrier continued below. Years passed by, thousands perished, law and order long forgotten. Somewhere deep below, the curse of undeath is released. To this day, the king and his royal guards desperately seek a solution. That's us, I'm assuming. As one of the Royal Guard troops, you had to lead your party into the darkness countless times over the years. Nothing but death awaited you. Even in death, you cannot find peace. The curse of undeath won't allow it. Dead end after dead end, you endlessly roam the cold and damp corridors, hoping to find a way out of this misery. Enter the name of your party. Team Unity. Tag yourself. I am uh, the bald one. This is Malf. That's Apollo, because he's the only one that's outfitted properly, and that's definitely Dan. A.K.A. Miss Scarlet from the 1975 uh, version of Clue. Um, yeah, tutorial seems smart. Let's do a tutorial first. Basic training. I think we're in a good spot on the camera. This training dummy cannot harm you. Above it is its currently chosen intent. Nothing. Intents above enemies showcase what they are planning to do during their turn. Cards require energy to be played, of which we have three. Your current energy is located at the lower left of the screen. To use a card, drag the card onto it. We got Fireball, that does 5 to 8 damage. We can heal for 8 to 12, and then Singular, which discard into the Singular pile. I don't know, maybe that's uh, Exile. We'll see. Maybe it's just a different pile. 4 to 6 damage, 5 to Okay, here you go. Guess what? Get Torched. Right-click on a card to use it on yourself. Um, sure, there you go. And, uh, you know what? We're out of energy. When you run out of energy, end the round by pressing the end round button. Okay. Mission accomplished. Then I will destroy you. End round. Seven damage remains. Take me to advanced? Dude, no problem there. <laughs> Perpetual block one. Okay, so that's going to be like armor. This training dummy can harm you slightly. Above it is, is its currently chosen intent. Oh, hover over an enemy to see all of its intents and status effects. So you only have that and weaken. All right. Its weaken intent is only usable after the second round. Okay, I see. It has a perpetual buff of block one. Oh, I've gone too far. I love a tutorial that allows you to hit an arrow to go backwards. Um, so often I accidentally double click because I'm 55 years old and I lose a valuable piece of information forever. Trinkets collected during a run are on top of the screen. Currently, the only trinket your group has is a damaged violin. This trinket grants your group one block every time you deal damage. That seems pretty good. Some cards are usable only for a couple of times each chamber, like the heal card in your deck. To view your entire deck, click on this. Okay. Mm Usable for two draws. So you can only use it the first two times you draw it, maybe? That's that's kind of an interesting uh, design space. That's not violin, huh? That's a damaged Voluta. <laughs> I told you, I'm 55. Cut me some slack. It's a Sunday. Um, drag offensive cards onto the training dummy to defeat it. That's no problem. Guess what? You're doing one damage? I'm not sweating that. I'm not even putting on block because of our sweet violin. And I, that was on, on, on purpose. We gained some block ourselves because uh, we have uh, destroyed you. Uh, we've done some damage. You cannot hurt me. I remain with one block. 
I choose to hit you, and I choose to hit you again. Now I have two block, and you're dead. Uh, dude, I think we're good to go then. Embark me. Normal run. Let's complete a salvage run to do quests. Okay, salvage a card and a trinket if victorious for use during quest runs. That's interesting. I wonder if it's you do a salvage run as like a prelude to a quest to make yourself a little bit more buffed, or if this is like an unlock mode where you unlock cards that you can use in the quest mode. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Sewers. Difficulty 1. Seems, seems fair for now. Oh no, Tarkov deck builder. Just when I thought I was out, they sucked me back in. Choose a provision. A potion or 8 gold? Come on, man. Give me, give me some gold. To descend, you must win 3 chambers. I will start on a normal chamber, please. Citizen. He negates strength. It lowers our physical damage. Okay, well, I'll tell you. You're not doing anything else right now, Abe Lincoln. Get smacked. Get smacked. Get smacked. And, uh... Oh, what's our... Toy Chariot. Enables travel to the Candle Sanctum. A secret place somewhere in the sewers. Alright, I end round. You're just gonna murder this guy? Well, like, in many ways. He's asking for it. We have, we have almost unlocked some enemies. We'll take two gold. We will choose a card. Deal 7 to 10 damage, but next round lose all block. Because, yeah, you know, in other deck builders, I mean, you know, you can't talk about deck builders without talking about Slay the Spire. But they all do mechanics slightly differently. So I guess block normally carries over turn to turn here, but this makes it uh, decay to zero. Deal 8 to 12 damage. Each usage reduces its power. When drawn, damage all enemies for one. I'm going to assume that's magical damage. Um... Great Devo song, too. You're not wrong. Shuffle three scale cards into your hand. We have never seen those. You know what? Why don't you start me with some... Some uncontrollable force. And I always have to remember that, like, cards that remove themselves from your deck are actually a positive, not a negative. Because it... it once they've worn out their welcome, they're easy to get rid of. Okay. I, I'm... Do I pay two gold out of my ten gold to speak to you? Sure, why not? Buy information on who lurks below. Much appreciated. That sweaty old blacksmith is down there. Makes such a racket. That's what brings the dead back, I tell you. He he. On each new floor, the inventory of the traders are renewed. Okay. Uh, you got anything else for us? Much appreciated. That's... Hey! You don't get the... Uh... You know what? I'm realizing now. I think that we can actually unlock him by giving him more money. But let's just go to a normal area first. Okay, um, you're doing eight damage. That's kind of a lot, to be honest. Can I kill you? If I use a charge of this, we could possibly kill you. Let, let's see how this does. Nine damage. We're very likely to kill you. Oh, oh no. 50-50 chance to kill you. I'm mad. End round. Sorry, right, we took a little damage. Life goes on. We, we got a heal in our deck for a good reason, okay? Gain seven, gain seven, gain seven block, and gain shuffle back. At the end of your round, cards in your hand will be discarded in the draw pile. Removes the latest buff from its target. If a buff is removed, deal five magic damage. Counter spell. Force a two round cooldown on the current intent, and it's. It stays in your hand when it's drawn. You know what? That's kind of interesting. And we got to win three chambers? I mean, like, that, that doesn't seem like a problem here. Let's, let's go fight a corrupt level here. So you're going to give block to the Friar, and you're going to do damage? All right. It's so simple. You do five damage. That's nothing. I choose to defend myself by right-clicking. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just going to smack you two times and pass turn. You hit me, I'm not sweating it. Counterspell? You're gonna inject a curse card into my deck? I choose not to let you do that? You're gonna do eight damage instead. That's actually, like, pretty bad, though. That did five? Come on, man. Oh, let's go! <laughs> okay, heal ten for corpse. That's what you love to see. Then give me some block, because it doesn't decay. He brought him back to life! Acid and negate a buff. Um, okay. I want you to not do that. Corrupt spirit? 
You receive less healing? I don't sweat that. You have five shields? You know what? Give I, I thought I just gave the corpse some shielding accidentally. Okay, corrupt spirit for a bit? That's fine. That's fine, man. Now you, you're doing five damage. We already got eight block. This is an easy choice in my world. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. And uh, we can't afford to do this because I'm uh, stupid and didn't look at my remaining energy. And then we'll fireball you and then you're dead. Okay, easiest fight of my life. Four gold. Choose a card. Deal zero to two damage. Each draw increases its damage by three. And slick cards don't count as a draw. It's kind of interesting. Zero the energy cost of a random card in your hand. And then Counterspell has been... I don't know if I'm using it appropriately, but... <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do Channel Flame just because it looks cool. And then Collect Potion. Transmutes a random disabled trinket. Of course we'll take. Continue. All right, so we having completed the floor, we will collect our trinket. 50% of healing on you damages all enemies. That's fantastic. And, dude, like, I don't know, descend. Keep it moving. Descend, ascend. I'm not sweating it. An elite enemy. I'm not ready for that. Start me, start me on normal. And these, oh, so all of our uh, our cards replenish as well. Uh, every time we go down. Good to know. You're going to do five damage. You're going to do eight damage. I have no block, which means something has got to die. You know what? Here's what we do. Counterspell you. Now you're given block. Now we don't sweat it. But now, you know what? Then we kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not great. Hold on. Excuse me? Your holy shield absorbs uh, the damage. I'm disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Well, we can at least remove your, your holy shield. It probably was not the right line to be on, but, you know, the times have changed. I would like to heal myself, please, which also damages these guys. Um... I would still like you to die, but we can't do it. But nobody's hurting. Oh, they're hitting me with acid. Is that bad? <laughs> Probably. Probably not a good thing. Leeches. At the end of your round, suffer one damage that's unblockable. Well, what if I just ice you instead? And then we have two energy left. If it's unblockable, then it's unblockable. We need we need to play some defense on ourselves and then get one of those going. And then just uh how much damage? Six to eight damage? Cost two energy. That doing six disappointed me greatly, but that's okay. We still got there. Choose a card. Deal damage equal to 25% of your missing health and then six damage? Or is that six damage is equal to 25% of our missing health? Yeah, we're missing 24, so that makes sense. Um, put two cards into your hand from your discard pile or gain two strength. It seems interesting. Right now, I don't know what I'm doing. So as a result, we do interesting stuff. Let's do interesting stuff. I thought his name was Moldark. His name is Carlor. Three to five damage. Each draw increases its damage. Seven damage and blind draw. I think we're about to get uh, killed. You're going to disable a trinket that does not uh, concern me. This seems to me like we're, we're going to die. What the heck is blind draw? Cannot see the draw pile. That's, that's a negative? That's the way I play all these games, I think. <laughs> it's, I, I don't look at that stuff uh, at the best of times. So as far as I'm concerned, you can't harm me. Well, I will definitely hit you with one of those. You got a filth. Receive two filth cards if attacked with a card. Son of a... And those stay in our deck forever? A small... That's horrible, man! Oh my god! That's like being a porcupine. It's like, I don't want to attack you because it hurts me more. Okay, well then just put some block up and then just hurt this guy instead then. Okay, our... Our healing trinket has been removed, but that's okay. 
Let's uh, deal damage equal to 25% of our missing health. Let's uh, hurt you bad and then... Honestly, I'm going to play my defend and then counterspell this guy for stealing. Um, I don't want him to steal a card unless he stole my filth. Now, this doesn't work for damage anymore, but I would still like to heal. And then I would still like to, uh, if possible, destroy you. I guess I should have done that earlier, but that's okay. Um, we're still doing fine. They'll leave after the fight ends? Okay. That, that would be nice, for sure. I only have one charge left on this. Don't steal my card, you, you freaking jerk. Fading. Disappears next round. Okay, so they, oh, corpses can be healed to come back to life. Understood? Understood. Alright, we gotcha. Choose a card. Gain three to five block and draw a card? That's, that's classic. That's a classic card. Deal seven damage. Two times overkill damage will be dealt to all enemies. Now that's a cool card. Put a card from discard on top of draw pile. This is blue deck. We don't do that. We, we play red deck cards. Thank you for the bonus gold. Let's go fight this elite man. Glutton. And pure collector with filth too. Did I keep my previous filth? I did not. That's that's beautiful. Okay. Now we got a strategy. Pudge, Pudge is a butcher. He eats four and meat. Now, can I tell you something? With only one charge left on this, I'd kind of like you to be removed from my deck. I'm not going to deny it. But for now, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to pick up some filth. I don't mind. Go ahead, give me some filth. See if I care. You got to be killed at some point, so I might as well give you some filth. Or I might as well take some filth. You've stolen my heal? Excuse me. That's a very important card. You are going to do 7 damage blind draw. You're going to nullify a card. The, ne the next card played will be negated. I don't want to see that. Why don't you go ahead and hit me? I'd rather, I'd rather be hit, quite frankly. This is exactly what I was looking for. Overkill is going to do some serious damage. We have re returned our heal to our deck. We'll smite you for 11, and then melee attack you. I think we're going to live, but I don't think we're going to live by much. I would like to heal, please. Which will also damage you and the corpse. And uh, then I will melee attack you. You're going to nullify one card, which now that I'm thinking is actually like the best possible option. Why don't you go ahead and nullify this fireball? Well, no. Let's have you nullify this block. And then we'll still we'll play... One block, you're doing 12 damage. I'm gonna pain smite you because we're in a race. It's a race. And I'm losing. Eight damage, get counterspelled. Do nothing. That's that's better. That's what you like to see. Give it one of those, one of those. Alright. Mission Oh, we had a, we had extra energy because counterspell cost zero. Twelve damage and we drew a handful of filth. That's terrible news. You hate to see it. We have five. If I counterspell, you're going to nullify. Oh, no, no, you're not going to nullify. Six to eight damage. One energy remains. Well, we get to attack first, so you're in for a world of hurt, my man. Look at that. Look at that. We lived. So vulnerability, we're, we're familiar with. Select a debuff on you to blast towards all enemies and cleanses the debuff. That looks like a, a custom Pog Champ emote. Vulnerable is cool too, but I, I don't know. The ability to take your debuff and give it to all enemies and cleanse your debuff is kind of neat. Why don't we give it a try and then trinket. You have, when you have six cards in your hand, draw another card. That's neat. Okay, so now you know you got the roguelite gears turning. When you got six cards in your hand, draw a card. I think you draw five per turn. If you could play something that replaces itself with two cards, you would actually get an extra draw on top of that. But hold on. If you could get up to seven cards, you would then also get a draw when you played a card after that, and 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 a card after that. Couldn't, couldn't you use this unless I'm maybe thinking too hard? Couldn't you play 
If you had infinite energy or a bunch of zero cost cards, couldn't you play a bunch of them for free? Maybe it only works once per round? I don't know, but I'm like, I'm still, I'm still pogging. Um, so I don't know what it means to go to the Sanctum, but sure, teleport me to the Candle Sanctum. Let's, let's see what the heck's going on there. We have Margaret and... Wait, this is the guy from uh, New Londo Ruins, dude. Hello, hello, Margaret. Come closer, sweeties. Always a pleasure serving the royal guards. Oh, you're a card salesperson. Okay. You sell trinkets, too. When charged up, deals four magic damage to every enemy. Unused energy charges it up. That's kind of interesting. The heck is warm light? Received healing is increased by 50%. Three corrupt spirit. Dude, there's so many buffs and debuffs. Give, give me this hourglass. And then I would like to see perhaps if you have any... I'm, I'm concerned that uh, if I give you blood, you will just kill me. Oh, this, you're just a card salesman, but for HP. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, okay, now, could I sell you a card? Like, for example, I have to be honest with you. Select a card to per permanently remove from my deck. Melee attack, that's that's a good one. Goodbye. And could would you like to perhaps purchase a, ca a bad card from me? <laughs> um, let me see what you got here. I like the idea of zero cost draw two. This is exactly what we need to enable uh, copper weights. When using cards, changes into something out of three possibilities. Honestly, that just sounds fun. Let's, let's take that, and we only got two gold left. All right. I leave. And then... Do we not... Oh, God, what the heck? When you have over 30 gold, heal for one every round. I didn't take the trinket last time. We will descend and be uh, killed. Time to descend and be killed. Normal. Yeah, normal seems good. I don't want to... What the... What's your problem? Brian... I don't hurt, they don't hurt me. The villainous Brian, man. Okay. This is not amazing. Let's let's take a look at some stuff here real quick. Undying. Can only be killed by magic damage. Gains two strength when damaged. Siphon. If damaged, steals the latest buff. And then you have limitless strength. So you get stronger every round. I would like you to be killed. Let's start with the slick hands. We did get the one extra draw, too, I think. Um, or did we? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when we play a card, we might get another draw, but we'll see. For now, this deals 15. You got to go first, but we do have to put up some block. Okay, so it only triggers once per round. That makes sense. Select a debuff on you to blast towards all enemies. We don't have one yet. You're going to make me vulnerable, which is mighty nasty. Oh, every time you play a card, this changes to something new. That's so cool. All right, so we should gain six block, which means we can't be killed. That That's better than five. And in fact, it means we can't be hit, which is even better. Um, and then we have no debuff, so we might as well just smack you. And that's as good as it's going to get. This is going to be a little spicy, though. Select a card to exhaust for the chamber, chamber's duration. These are three good cards, um, but I'll get rid of Affliction Blast for now, unfortunately. Um, I definitely want to heal. Reflect for Midwife. Yeah, heal first. That screwed up our overkill. I forgot we had the Rose. Four block and lullaby for Jester, reflect for midwife. Well, I think the best we can do is if damage steals the latest buff. I'm like, what what I don't have a buff. If you want to take my my debuffs, by all means. Alright, so they are doing lethal damage. That's not great. Let's make you do nothing. <laughs> and then. What's lullaby? Heal for two every round. 
And you got a little shield. You can only be killed by magic damage, but I think I've still gotta... I gotta get in there. Six to eight magic damage is big, though. Okay, you play Slick Hands first. You draw three. That's beautiful. Okay, we want to overkill you. Ideally, I'd like to get you closer to death before I overkill you, but you know what? We're just going to take that as it is what it is. And then we can kill you. We can kill you. 13? No, we have, to, we have to kill you the right way, though. We have to kill you the right way. Because Pain Smite, I wonder if it'll take you down to zero, then Fireball will finish you off. I thought she could only be killed by, by magic damage. Maybe, maybe a, a Decayed. Deal 10 damage. If not fatal, heal the target for the health damage dealt. Oh, Pain Smite is magic! Of course. I knew that. Um, stab. Deal 8 damage. Deal 4 extra damage if they have acid. Soul Blade can only be used as lethal, which is not great. Dude, the art on the cards is quite nice. Heal the target for the health damage dealt. Like, I guess you could use it on yourself? Yeah, that's that's an interesting idea. Let's, I don't know, it could get us killed pretty easily. <laughs> Um, but we'll see. Yeah, two minute timer. What the heck? Okay, let, we got a we got a two minute timer. It's probably ticking. It's probably ticking. Uh, so just use your brain. Uh, use your brain. Use your brain. Thirteen damage. Get bodied. Uh, slick hands. Quick, slick hands. Sw thank you, thank you. Soul blade. Um, no. Uh, he heal on myself first. No. Um, overkill. First. Vulnerable corrupt spirit. Dude, I should have healed myself. I don't know. Uh, I choose to smack you. I think I misplayed that drastically. Counter spell. Reflect for self. You love to see it. Debuff. Yes, I would like to select a debuff. Uh, corrupt spirit. Healing is reduced. Vulnerable. Uh, vulnerable, guess what? You're all vulnerable now. Also, um, we're going to succeed. Thank you. And we're going to counterspell nothing yet. We're going to keep that in our hand. And we're going to smack you good. Okay, end round. That was a really good... We got lucky on that one. You're doing five damage. Guess what? No, you're not because you're counterspelled. You're going to bring a corpse back to life. That's terrible news. Um, we don't need slick hands yet. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? 14 damage. You get killed. Okay. What the heck? Um, get killed anyway. Reflected, you died! Forgot that they put a reflect on me. <laughs> or on themselves, I should say. Alright. Two, two minutes is probably not the, the kind of direction we should be going in. Alright, alright, alright. You got anything new? Keep trying. We learned a little bit, though. We learned a little bit on that one. I think we're going to win a salvage run. And I'm not joking. Oh, I should have taken the five gold. I, what, what potion is this? Transmutes a random disabled trinket. All right, we, what, what do you give me? Extra card, random class. We don't need healing, we're at full HP. Now, now I'm starting to get it. The first run of any new roguelite is always a little bit, you know, spicy. Now we're starting to get it. We're playing fast. Bullet deck building. Don't, don't tempt me. Okay, get, get bodied, get destroyed. If you beat a run tonight, I'll drop 10 codes for the game. Oh my god. That's like, that's high stakes. Because, <laughs> uh... This isn't even out yet, man. That's high stakes. Let me look at these cool cards. I, I'll take you up on the offer, don't get me wrong. I do love this knot like this. Gain four block. Gain four additional block if you haven't gained block from a card during the previous round. But... You can't draw it till turn two. Force pull. Conjure two random cards and put them in your draw pile for the chamber's duration. Accelerate. For the next three rounds, draw an additional card. That's Lion Galaxy. Let's let's do let's do force pull. That seems interesting. Okay. No elite deposit. Put away one card for the duration of the chamber, but you get extra gold. Okay. Uh let's get rid of uh let's get rid of our heal for now. We don't need it. 
Just one simple uh, enemy here. Two quick blocks. A little fireball. He reflected it! I'm so stupid! I didn't even look! Sorry, chat. I'm gonna become your champion. I'm gonna become the, the chat champion. Randomize all enemy intents and draw two cards. Exhaust. Okay, so you're gonna do a weaken. I don't really want to play uncontrollable force because it does give us a benefit just to draw it. Okay, just don't pay attention. Or Sorry, the opposite. Do pay attention to uh, reflect. That's a big one. I should look at the combat log, honestly. Okay, two cards into your hand from your discard pile. It's kind of neat. I think, honestly, start me right there. I'm not going to say we couldn't use a good block, but, but start me right there. Put away one card for the, the duration of the chamber. You know what? We get rid of that. Four block and three strength for the Friar. Corrupt Spirit, which makes healing worse. We don't need to heal because we're that good. Okay, step one, you always force pull. This is not an amazing draw. Let's be realistic with one another. But hey, you know what? Two draws or two blocks on us real quick. Nothing to sweat. Let's see what we got here. Deal seven damage to all enemies. Beautiful card. Heal ten on Citizen. We don't sweat. Deal three magic damage. Each greater than one energy card in your deck increases this damage by two. Interesting. Here's what I would do. Cleave. Recover. Bring me back a cleave and also a force pull. Then cleave again. Play your force pull just to get some new cards. We, we got some cool combos going here. And then you're going to heal the corpse is the thing. Do I mind? Maybe I don't mind if you heal a corpse. I think I should have done it differently. <laughs> gain four block. Gain four additional block if you didn't gain block during the previous round. I didn't. So look at that. Now we got nothing to sweat. Throw acid. Acid deals three magic damage for five rounds. Guess what, buddy? You're actually dead. You just don't even know it yet. We can't... Oh, force pulls out of charges. Okay. Well, cleave is... is Pog City. I think, I think you're toasted, my man. I think you're already dead. Although you did put acid on me, which I probably could have gotten around. Okay. Ste f chamber one, no problem whatsoever. On the first draw of each chamber, changes into a random card. This is, like, bad but fun. For four rounds, the target suffers two magical damage every time a card is used. That's unbelievable. Yes, I, especially with all the zero-cost cards we have. When entering a chamber, gain a holy shield that absorbs four damage. Enemies also gain it. I mean, I'll take it, but I'm, I'm annoyed. <laughs> and then take me to the Sanctum. I'm figuring it out, man. Okay, hello, Margaret. Cockroach, when entering a... I, I don't even look at cards. Trinkets are what it's all about. Gain block equal to your unused energy times two. Unlikely uh, to help me too much, I think. Resurrect with third... Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's, um... Lizard Tail, I think, from Slay the Spire. When entering a Blight Chamber, you get eight block. Any zero-cost cards are going to be worth something to me. Deal one magical damage and apply Corrupt Spirit. Put a card from your hand into your exhaust pile and draw two cards. I like it. I like that. Let me let me see what you got over here. When when acquired, create a copy of one of your cards. Heal for three when using a potion. Consume all your gold and turn it into healing. Draw three cards. I don't know if we need a copy right now. We I don't really know how how important the healing synergy is on the potion there. I would like to sell you my card, yes, because we don't we don't care really for melee attack. Deal six damage. Damage changes when a card is used. That's kind of interesting. I think for now, honestly, I feel pretty calm. Why don't you just leave me and, and let's just focus again a little bit more on our, our mechanics play. Cleave is good. A, I, a double cleave, I wouldn't be surprised if, if that's the, the, the game theory play. Okay, so I got to look at this. This is for four rounds, the target suffers two magical damage every time a card is used. This is, this is beautiful. Enjoy your, your Mark of Cain, and then get Force Pulled. 
and then recover and just give me this force pull and then we play it again. Um, we are still going to take five damage, but it's okay. We're, we're working his magic shield out there. We can heal ourselves, which I think we should. Inept. Cannot gain block if in hand. That's fine, because I'm healing. Which also did damage to you. Beautiful. Gain two block every round for four rounds. Like, I, I, I can't, unfortunately. I can't gain block. So we will just hit you instead. Put a card from your hand into your exhaust pile and draw two. Okay, I, I can do that. Because this guy's still got Mark of Cain. He's actually toasted. I would like to put this basic defend into my exhaust pile. Force pull is out of charges already. That's not amazing. How do we like six damage? Not that much. Give me a fireball. Five damage. That's like... That hurts. Seven damage. Now we're talking. <laughs> okay. Can't gain block if this is in hand. This guy's still got freaking corrupt spirit, man. You hate to see it. I just need to play a card to kill you? Here we go. All right. A little spicy, but, but mission accomplished. Deal 10 to 14 damage will devour a buff and needs a buff to be used. Deals 4 damage. If it kills the target, get 3 gold. Immediately force a new round. Enemies won't use their intents. So you this is for one this is a crazy good card isn't it cuz you could basically play two energy get a uh, bonuses and then force your enemies to skip their turn like that's that's incredible okay chrono 2 minute timer <laughs> i'm not ready i'm not ready for that yet i'm not ready for that yet okay mark of cain is huge you got to go buddy you got to go so get mark of cain Get force pulled. Beautiful stuff. Um, I could heal. I could also play a smoke bomb. I think I would rather heal just so that we get it uh, to move on from here. Okay, now he's got reflect on. Hopefully that doesn't work. It does. Oh no, dude. That's terrible news. <laughs> All right, right, well, let's... Just take uh, Defend and Smoke Bomb then. We'll play our own blocks just so we don't get heavily reflected. It does hurt him as well. So, like, I'm not sweating that. Acid and Negate buff. This is a Smoke Bomb situation, I think. Um, put a card... We've got enough block ready. So, this is still good. Play one of these. And then, honestly, play an Expel. And just... Yeah, put this Smoke Bomb in there. I'm like, I could probably kill you. It only reflects once. <laughs> uh, what a fool. You're doing five damage? That didn't kill you? You're going to make me vulnerable, you jerk. All right, so you're dead. Dude, we can handle these two-minute timers now. I'm not sweating it. Heal corpse for ten. You dang jerk. Oh, well, the corpse is dead. Way to go. You screwed it up. Acid and negate buff. Um... No, yeah, Corrupt Spirit I can live with. Let's get rid of Increased Retaining Block. Heal two every round for five rounds. Corrupt Spirit just makes healing less good. I'd still play this, like, why not? You know, we might as well try to get back to full HP. And then Fireball and Fireball. You're not dead, huh? I don't really mind. If you want to heal, like, go ahead. It just makes our, our own healing stronger as well. But I think we need um, some extra damage. Like, yeah, we, we have, like, a serious problem with, uh, like, a lack of damage output, I think. Either way, you're dead, and I have lived again. I, dude, honestly, I think we're going to win this run. I, 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 I don't see us losing this run. I love Succession as a card. 
Weakening, you do less damage to it. You know what? Let's prove it. Okay, two minute timer. Okay, you gotta go fast. Um, so you start with uh, Expel. You get rid of uh, Smoke Bomb because we don't need it right now. Continue. Okay, Recover. Play Recover. Bring Expel back. Expel. And then you play it on uh, a heal because we don't need it right now. Okay, then Force Pull. Succession does six to eight damage. We got three energy remaining. You've got a Holy Shield. You've got a Holy Shield. Okay, we're going to take a little bit, but I can live with that. A card has been exhausted. Uh, get rid of Succession. Mark of Cain is too important to us. Get Mark of Cain. And then five damage weaken. Bash. Next round, lose all block. There's actually no concern whatsoever. And uh, we should have... Uh, well, weaken's not that bad, actually. Three magic damage? I'd rather just try to try to take you. Okay, two minutes is, is not a lot of time. Please get rid of us. You reflected me! I'm so freaking mad, dude. Okay, there you go. Get killed. Um, you're going to do four damage. Guess what? That's no damage. Guess what? It's two damage. Guess what? You've been hit. Shuffle three scale cards into your hand. I just want to see what it looks like, man. Two block exhaust. Two block exhaust. I don't want to lose all block next turn. Where's the timer? I'm scared. I don't know where the timer is. <laughs> but look at how fast I'm playing. I've, I've, I've figured it out, man. It's on the right. Oh, oh, we had so much time. Why am I sweating it? Yeah, you're, you're dead. Get out. Mm, you're not dead. You're doing 14 damage. It's because she heals every turn. Okay, that's fine. Chad, I'm not going to lose this one for you. I, I personally guarantee. Overkill is pretty sick. Overkill was doing good work for us last time. Collect Trinket. At the start of Chamber, discard X cards and draw that many. That's good. That's, that's not bad at all. It's my solemn vow. When a Trinket is acquired, heal for five. Pick a card to always appear in your starting hand. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, give me one of those. I always want um, Mark of Cain right off the bat. We have now completed Margaret's quest, and we can find her cat somewhere in the sewers. How about that? I will sell a card. We don't care for basic melee. We can afford another trinket. Well, we should have done it in that order if we were going to do that. What do you got for me? Heal for the number of curse cards in your hand at the end of every turn. One energy every, th every time things are reshuffled. I don't want to give you my HP. I'm, it's too precious right now. But we should buy stuff that could help us. Deal 2 to 4 damage when used discards into draw. What does that mean, discards into draw? It is zero cost. Oh, you know what? Hold on. No, I, I don't think we can transmute our trinket. Oh, it discards into the draw pile. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Honestly, I gotta be real with you. I, I like our existing deck. Although, because we have uh, Mark of Cain, we're always gonna draw right off the bat. I think that's valuable. I think you're right. Don't fight the elite yet. I want to fight the elite, but I don't want to fight the elite yet. I think this is our this is our only f like if we finish this floor, we've completed the salvage run. I think. So we don't need to defend, because we can always... If we keep Smoke Bomb, we could just skip our turn. Everything else is pretty good. I don't know if we'll have the energy to play the heal, though, so let's dump that for now. We're looking for more zero cost. Mission accomplished. Okay. So here's what you do. Who has to die first? I don't like the Jester, so I'm going to give you a Mark of Cain. Then we're going to do a Force Pull. 
You do have a holy shield for a bit, but that's okay. We're going to get rid of our defend. Play Emerald Dagger. This is six block. We have Smoke Bomb in Succession that gives two. I think... For now, let's play Succession. And we hope to draw some zero cards. We didn't. But we will play a Smoke Bomb. We get to start a brand new turn here. Okay. Now we're talking. Play your Recover. It didn't work as well as I thought it would. <laughs> two cards from your hand into your discard pile exhaust. We know we're going to play this. That's a gimme. Expel. Put a card from your hand into your discard pile. And then draw cards. We got three energy remaining. We can't play our other smoke bomb, though. It requires a reshuffle. Dude, this went pretty well. I mean, we managed to kill the Jester early. Let me just do that. We're going to have some acid on us, but that's okay. We definitely want to play heal. Emerald Dagger is free. Then with one energy left, we will play our defend. And we'll still take some damage, but that's that's life, man. We got acid coming in here. What are you what's what are you supposed to do, you know? Get hit. Seven damage to all enemies. You've gotta go. So let what hold on. Hold, no no no, it's it's so good, it's so good. You're dead, you're dead. Unlock enemy, bug crank. Abe Lincoln with a crossbow. 42 HP left. We got to get through two more challenges. I'm not worried about that. This being free is actually pretty nice, but I I, I don't think I, I want to mess with our existing deck. You got to be a thin deck, Marty. Curse, weakening curse. Gain a curse that lasts until the end of the next chamber. Damage reduced by 30%. Your remains. Yo, do you think we can get our soul back? <laughs> um, I like succession. We don't need this. We probably don't need overkill this early. We don't need fireball this early. Let's continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Having smoke bomb early is insane. I hate your filth, man. Wait, let's get that jester out of here because I hate him. Um, we can always play smoke bomb. We can play emerald dagger, of course. Succession for six to eight damage. Quick smoke bomb. Keep it moving. Okay, here you go. We get a heal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Emerald Dagger. Heal. Because this is a long-term play. Always Force Pull. Always put a card from your hand into your exhaust pile. I will play and get rid of this defend. Goodbye and get exhausted. Um, we still have energy remaining, but you're now dead. Dude, this deck is popping! Put two cards from your hand... Oh, two cards into your hand from your discard pile, and then exhaust. What do I want to see? We can't use Smoke Bomb yet. Um, honestly, this might be a time where we would actually love to have some blocks. Let's get a Force Pull as well. Um, so gain this six block, and then Force Pull one more time. Dude, we got... This is an amazing deck. Yeah, Devs, BTFO. They thought they were so cool coming in here... Hey, if you if you can manage to beat the game, we'll give out 10 codes. Well, well, well. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can transmute my disabled trinket. No, do not discard. Drink it up. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. I think I've screwed it up. I apologize. Um, <laughs> seven damage in a blind draw. Well, this is free. We're going to take a hit, but we can at least put some acid on you. Put some defense on ourselves. Seven damage blind draw. wonder if I can get you to overkill. I think I can. That's pretty solid. I don't, I don't really feel like we should play expel, though. Don't get too cocky. Uh, but on the other hand... Uh... <laughs> Gain six block. That's what we needed to see. Okay. On the other hand, how could we conceivably possibly lose, you know? Changes damage when a card is played. 
You love to see it. Darkness. We have unlocked the Blight Chambers. Dude. Look at this. Four gold. Choose a card. What? <laughs> There's so many choices. Um, I really like Overkill. I think Overkill's good. Bonus gold. Choose a Trinket. Unused energy charges this up. We don't tend to have less... Oh, this is one of our... We get to choose one of our trinkets from the last run that we died on. And one of our cards from the last one we died on. Okay. I thought Copper Weights was pretty good. And then we get our old potion, which I'm going to use properly this time. And of course, you got to finish it out by fighting an elite. Okay, what do we not need? Mark of Cain is huge. We don't need... You know what? Undying can only be killed by magic damage. I don't think we need an early overkill or defend. Succession I like, though. Okay. Let's transmute this. <laughs> None of your trinkets are disabled. Oh, I thought, I thought zero of two meant disabled. Um, but it, that's fine. That's fine. So you got to kill the midwife here first, of course. Start there. She's got a heck of a holy shield. That's okay. We don't sweat that. You play your zero cost cards early. You get your expel out there. What do you put in your exhaust pile? We don't need a basic defend. Get out of here. Then we'll recover. We're going to put over... I guess we'll put force pull and expel back in our hand. Because we can just endlessly keep using them. So we'll use force pull again. We'll expel. Get rid of a road. We don't need it right now. We're, we're going freaking endless, man. 8 to 10 damage. We don't need to heal yet. I think we're. I think I'm going to overkill you. Yeah, we can't heal then smoke bomb. That's, that's the unfortunate part. I could loot you for 3 gold. But I think instead I'm going to be a smart guy. Play a smoke bomb. Now you're dead. And now we get to start anew. Filth Explosion. When this enemy dies, suffer 10 magic damage. Deal 10 to 14 damage will devour latest buff. Yeah, so it took my holy shield, but I, I can live with that. Of course you want a force pull. Give me a little block, and then you know what? Yeah, okay, here. Should have played overkill. Filth, a small pile of rubbish. We would definitely like to apply some vulnerability. Feast on corpse, heal 20 for self. I'm not concerned about that. I think we've got you in like infinite uh, territory right now. I don't, I don't mind if you eat the corpse, quite frankly. Um, get this filth out of my hands. Look at this. We're even removing bad stuff. Let's make you vulnerable for a bit. And we might as well, let you know what, for the time being, let's heal ourselves. You love to see it. Filth explosion. Vulnerable one. This this is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing. Hit you with one of those. We're, we're going to smoke bomb again. Easy smoke bomb. Easy emerald dagger. Six block. We don't... What the heck is shadow drop? <laughs> Healing turns into damage on target. That's, that's fine. I will remove a basic defend. Hit you with another one of these. Force pull you. Succession for six block. No thank you. Have some more vulnerability. Draw two cards. Okay, don't mind if I will. And we, we actually got copper weights to pop there as well. Emerald dagger again. It never ends. I'm still getting headshots, etc, etc. Okay, so we can't heal. If we heal, we get hurt. Feast on corpse. Heal self for 20. How it, You ate the corpse. How could the corpse possibly still be alive? It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, you're like 20? We don't care, man. You're you're completely destroyed. 6 to 10 damage. I, I think I speak for everybody when I say big whoop. We're going to expel, and you know what? Get rid of a bard song, because we can't heal anyway. And we're going to play a smoke bomb here, so like, what the heck do we care? Just hit you, use a quick smoke bomb. I gotta admit, he's pretty strong, but, like, so what, dude? Oh. 
This time you are going to hit us for 8 to 10. I wish there was something I could do about it, but, th but there isn't. Yeah, Smoke Bomb is like, it's so unbelievably good. You, you've been destroyed. I should have put a block to avoid the filth, but I think we might have just won. Muscular Injection. Gain zero block. Cards in your hand increase block by two. It actually seems pretty sick. Collect Trinket. When charged up, gain one energy. Incoming attacks charge it up. It seems like it could be good too. Can't go to the Sanctum? Velvet Gloves. Draw one additional card at the start of your turn. That's good stuff. I thought, I thought that that meant that we won, but no. We have to... Okay, there's a boss fight. The Forlorn Smith! As played by R. Lee Ermy. Okay, you have to keep Smoke Bomb in hand. This... Get out of here. Get out of here. We can't use our heal because we're going to use Smoke Bomb instead. Um, so we might as well continue. Big draw. Okay. I mean, 18 block is pretty solid. <laughs> Let's start with the Mark of Cain. That's a big one. Then give me 16 block. Now, we can't play anything for one energy. We have to use smoke bombs. Yes, play recover. Give me... Uh, we don't have anything that costs zero, huh? I'll skip. I choose to skip. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Seems, seems like I broke it a little. Okay, that's fine. It's a quick smoke bomb. Look at that. 10 damage. Who cares? Quick Emerald Dagger. Quick Force Pull, never hurt anybody. Use an Expel, and then remove a Defend from your hand. Easy money. Throw another one of these daggers at you. I'm telling you, we're close to infinite. It's a beautiful thing. I gotta be honest, instead of healing for 12, I'd rather just get a, a beautiful block like that. It still does like equivalent damage. Give me, give me two cards drawn. Next round, get two additional energy. I'm totally fine playing that. All right, you're going to do 10 damage. That's actually like, I, I sleep. No sweat there. I would like to expel, and I don't, I don't need a bard song. It's too expensive for me to enjoy. Take this for free. Force pull for free. Might as well give me some extra block. I do, I have a staggering amount of energy. Get overkilled. Draw me some cards. Get overkilled. We got one energy left. Quick smoke bomb. Purge. Remove the latest buff from the target. This is like the last turn where things are good for us, though. Like, we have to do start doing real damage from this point onwards, unfortunately. For the next three rounds, draw a card. You're stunning me? That's, that's not good. Next round, gain two extra energy. I mean, that's, that's all we can really play there. I've been stunned for two turns. We have been incapacitated. Don't fully know what that means, but... Uh, that means we can play nothing. That's pretty bad. <laughs> all right, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm not laughing anymore. Increase draw. Removes latest buff. Which will deal 5 damage. You're doing 14 now. Okay. Well, we got a smoke bomb, so just chill, okay? Step 1. Next turn, gain some energy. Give him a quick smack. Hit him with a smoke bomb. Now, we got 5 energy. Big block. That goes a long way. Okay. One of these. Losing... Only being able to use Mark of Cain once is, like... Is devastating. We should expel our heal because we can't use it anymore anyway. Let's, yeah, sure. Give me two draw. This is what I'm looking for. Anytime we can get the dagger, I'm a happy man. We could always just get more block. You retain eight. Okay. Give me the extra energy. I mean, I think that's like a gimme. We, we're going to have to do some damage to him at some point, though. 16 damage. We got we got a lot of blocks set up already. Succession, 6 to 8 damage. Put a card from your hand into your exhaust pile. Draw 2. Purge, I'm not that impressed with right now. No, no offense. Purge gaming. Um, give me almost enough block to take no damage. 
Anyway, we're, we're charging up rolling pin, bit by bit. We need this 16 block. That's such a good card. I'm so happy. We almost didn't take it, but I'm, I'm really glad we did. Okay, I think I think we've got him. The the stun is the only thing that scares me. We should we need something in the deck that can shuffle intent. Otherwise, that's uh, that's just gonna keep happening. I think so. We must expel. Let's expel um, preparation. We just don't need it on this. And then play a defend because we want to make sure we have some block retained. We retain eight. I think we're a little overkill, but that's fine. And just hit him three times. Okay, so this is where things are going to suck pretty bad. We are stunned. For one turn. Can't do anything. Yeah, I don't think we can play anything at all. So just pass turn. Very few games allow you to use... Um, or allow you to get stunned by enemies. It doesn't happen very often. how you know they respect you retain eight block since we're not getting stunned i'd rather just smack them you're actually gonna make it even even the dev says we're gonna make it we're in there okay get rid of cards that can't be used anymore always play that you know at this point we're just rushing them down i think we got them next turn we're if we don't have them we're close We got him. Look at that. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. We have now unlocked the ability to do quest runs and the difficulty setting, which we probably... I didn't click salvage card or trinket because I was so excited. I'm a little embarrassed. That's probably the whole reason you do those runs is so you can click uh, on those two buttons there. But hey, you know, a wise man once told me you always leave a little bit uh, to be desired. Always leave them wanting a little bit more. So yeah, we're playing some more Deepest Chamber. We got a little bit more than an hour left. Um, this is really fun so far. I feel like we started to get the muscle memory. We, we understand what people are looking for or what, what, the, what the game is looking for from us. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Diddly Danger OP. Thank you for the gifted subs. And uh, yeah, this is sponsored, by the way. Sponsored by the devs. Much appreciated. And uh, we'll, we'll be playing some more. Can we do a draw? I don't have... Um, I don't have a uh, 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 the scaffolding in place for that, but I'll tell you what. If you yeah, if you DM me on on Twitter, I will cut a letter out of each code, and then I can uh, yeah. Or yeah, actually, you know what? If you could send them to Origin Angel, who's a mod, they they could uh, post them in our Discord so that uh, people can can have a chance to to get in on them. Just do the thing that they always do, where they cut a letter out, and then you know say like hey the first letter is or you could just cut a letter out and let people like brute force it or something anyway let's uh i'm not trying to give you that much work to do quests let's do some quests let's see what we got here oh my god have 60 more gold kill eight enemies with fireball you get a card in the quest this is neat find margaret's cat somewhere in the sewers have 25 block in a single run I think we can do it. Choose salvage. Bring one of your salvage cards. Bring one of your salvage trinkets. Amazing. <laughs> Frick. Okay. What, so our only goal, our quest is to have 25 block. No problem. No problem. We'll start easy. Give me two of those right off the bed. Fireball that leech collector. I tried to play it. That would have been sick, though. At the end of your round, suffer one damage. Unblockable. I like how they're facing each other. That's pretty cool. Well, if they're not hurting me, then that's okay. No sweat. Negate strength. I have chosen... Not the care. Okay, here, there you go. This is how we get the 25 block. Oh, 
I'll settle for just not taking damage right now. I mean, it's not meant to be a sub-only giveaway. It's just like, you know... <laughs> Okay, Origin, post them in chat instead with, with one missing. You know, this all kind of... Look, it came together last second. You're doing the thing now that it's like, um, you know... The teacher was like, hey, I'm going to bring in, like, uh, Starburst. And then you're like, oh, but all the pink ones were gone before I got a chance to get one. So can you go to the store and get me some more? Like you're you're gonna you're gonna screw yourself out of a out of a good thing here. Brain flush. No, we need things with blocks. We need things with blocks. Discard your hand, then draw that many cards. Why not do marbles? Yeah, maybe we could just like pivot from the sponsored segment to do marbles to give away the games that were provided for the sponsored segment. Just put it. Just put him in chat. <laughs> this is what you, no good deed goes unpunished, devs. This is what you will learn about the Twitch culture. You try to do something nice for people, and then it becomes a net negative for some people because they're not the ones specifically getting the nicest. Codes are with origin. All right, it's in God's hands now. Pillage. Deal four damage. If this kills the target, loot three gold. Apply 5 Acid. None of these have anything to do with block, so I choose Brain Flush, which will allow us to draw more blocks. Take me to more normal. I like that a quest card actually fills up your deck, so it makes it harder to accomplish. I'll leave out the last character, so good luck. Alright, best of luck to you, chat. Subs, make sure to give the plebs uh, at least a 10 second head start. So they don't report the stream. Okay, we're going to start with defense. We're going to flush our hand. I'm going to do it this way. This is the easiest floor to get this done, for sure. Increase card cost. That's terrible news, but I can't kill you. Only, hopefully only one card? I don't know. Yeah, melee attack costs more. One off lethal. You hate to see it? Yes, thank you, Origin. Much appreciated. 25 block is going to be harder to get to than I thought. We're, we need some special enabling cards, I think. We're, we're not quite there yet. Retain 8 block. Yeah, because even right now, we can only retain 8 block. We would need to generate 17, which we can't do with 3 energy. You love to see it. Block, block, no blocks. For the next three rounds, draw an additional card. Randomize all enemy intents, draw two cards. I kind of like Channeled Flame. If you keep a thin deck and you draw it more, it does more damage up to a maximum. Get extra gold. Healing is reduced on your group. That's no problem, man. That's no problem. You will reflect the first attack. Okay, it's good to know. You're gonna, and you're going to corrupt my spirit? See if I care, man. Go ahead, reflect it. We gotcha. That's all of them. Have fun. Thank you, thank you. I, much appreciated. And uh, thank God that's over with. Okay, five damage we've already got under control. What do you have? You got four block? Give me a quick brain flush. Eight damage. I can't kill you, but I'm going to hit you nonetheless. One off lethal. Ten damage? Are you insane? It's the first floor. Okay, get bodied. Four block and two strength for corpse. I gotta tell you, I, I don't think you're gonna be uh, super impressed by the results there. 
So we'll just hit you for raw damage. We need some heavily blocked cards in order to complete this quest. Otherwise, that card will never be removed from our inventory. Deal nine. Mission accomplished. No, nothing to do with block, huh? But intellect makes oh, makes magical damage do more. So there's almost like there's quest uh, stuff going on in the game as well. Or not quest, but like class stuff going on in the game. So I wonder if you could... It, it doesn't seem yet like you choose what class to play. But maybe you can like spec into... Like by the choices you make with cards and trinkets, you can spec into a class... Yeah, archetypes. That's a good way to describe it. I mean, Emerald Dagger is a great card. But it doesn't help me get more block. <laughs> but it's still good. Let's keep moving. Collect Trinket. Deal one more magic damage. At the start of your turn, suffer damage equal to 50% of your block? No. Absolutely not. Um, I choose not to take that. That seems very dangerous for me. Conjure Chains, I think, will help us beat this quest, like, immediately. Remove a melee attack. Dude, this is in the Court of the Crimson King. Belt Buckle. If you lose all your block from an incoming attack, but you blocked for the exact amount, gain one strength... Okay, that's cool. Do I possess the, the mental wherewithal to actually, like, uh, achieve that? I don't know, but we're gonna try. <laughs> we'll try nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. Take me to a Blight round. We are on, indeed, a quest run. Party gained Cure Blight. During its final three rounds, heals for 12. All right. Stun? Are you crazy? No, we didn't skip the trinket by accident. We skipped the trinket on purpose. Also, we are, like, insanely weak. Okay, so you play huge block. Just to retain some. You're gonna reflect. I'm okay with that. I'd like you to be removed as soon as possible. And honestly, I don't want to redraw here. Eight damage, blind draw. We're stunned for a turn, can't play anything. That's fine. Still going. We're still going. Strength one, because we had the exact right block. You love to see it. Okay, we don't know what our cards do. Unfortunately for you, I know what the cards do. So, we'll defend. Redraw everything. Although, hold on. Five to eight, we can probably kill you. And then we might get one strength off of this. Five. Come on, man. Thank you, thank you. Don't brain flush me. Please do five damage. It did six. Life goes on. Hold on. Block. 14. 19. 24 block. Are you kidding me, man? Twelve block. Twenty-five block. Mission accomplished. Reward. A new quest. Deal eleven or more damage with a warrior card. Yo, okay. Complete the run to earn gold completion on it. That's kind of neat. I like having an objective apart from just win, because sometimes I'm bad and uh, can't win. We should try to make this fight last one turn longer so we can maybe get uh, a heal out of it. Like, I could kill you, but we'll heal for another uh, 12, right? Yeah. If we make the fight last longer, we, we, we get a little bonus out of it. Um, so get destroyed. All right, good to know. Good to know. Uh, and... Oh, resurrection! <laughs> de Stroyd. Hmm. So now we can just try to win. Now all we gotta do is win. Easy. This is a card that... And this is not to insult the devs at all. Um, this is a card that is not meant for me. When discard pile size is even, is even, hasten the latest round base buff. If odd, hasten a debuff. That's too much for, for my brain to understand. This is... When, when Jorbs plays the game, 
he'll probably make that card do incredible things. For me, I'm more of a hit hard kind of guy. Do do ten damage. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we got pure collectors and a, a a mudlark. You're gonna steal my card and you're gonna disable a trinket. Here's the thing, though. I'd rather you didn't. So what if I smacked you? And I don't I don't need the heal. In my world, I don't need the heal. Let's play a brain flush. Wow, guess we should have done Jorbs instead. Oh, no. Uh, they, ch you see how it, chat begets chat. The devs were in here. They were so happy. They were so positive. Then you started you started needling them. And, you know, you, you gave them the troll b debuff. You turned them into trolls. You see how that works? You see what happens when you feed a stranger scrambled eggs? I don't want you to disable a trinket, so what if instead of disabling a trinket, you uh, got killed? How about that? You've, you've stolen my great blocking card. Goodness gracious, great blocking card. You filthed me! Yo, Ock, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese. Catch a mayo, salt, and pepper on a roll. Yes, sir, you already know the vibes. I gotta cop that bevy, too. You let me get the airy. Yes, sir. I've been practicing all weekend. Seven damage, blind draw. Well, we are gonna get hit, that's for sure. Oh! That's not for sure! Transform two cards in your deck for the duration of the chamber. Reshuffle your draw pile, and next round, draw from your discard pile, nailed when drawn. Gold Feather, zero the energy cost of a chosen card in hand for the duration of the chamber. That's what we want. We want to make our two cost cards one cost. Weakening or two minute... Two minute timer? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. When did Yes Sir meta happen? Um, it's like, you know, you miss one uh, segment of one stream. You're so far behind on the lore, like... You know, you may never catch up. We don't need the heal. Healing is overrated in, in some ways. You're doing 10 damage? What if instead you just uh, died? Six to eight damage? This will definitely get you. <laughs> heal 10 for corpse. Uh-oh. Um, gain eight block. Oh, that's sick, though. And then, yeah. What? That, that corpse should be dead. I hit him with the throwing knife. Yeah, there he goes. I guess it, it took... It took one away from the timer. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Three to five damage? No. I choose not to. We didn't even need to play that. You're a fool. You're a fool of a took. I missed Mark on the chess stream and I was very confused. That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes for sure. Some people out there, they just, they didn't get the Joker Pennywise stuff and they just never came back, I think. I really like Overkill. And anything that does wide damage, I think, is valuable. When charged up, draw two cards. Card usage draws it up, or card usage charges it up. That seems easy enough. Take me to the Sanctum, please. And uh, Margaret, if you would take a melee attack out of my deck. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. A ritual that heals everything in the chamber for 12 requires more than two damage. No, thank you. I choose not to. Let me take a look at what you got, buddy. Because we actually got some HP. Gain 60 extra seconds in Chrono Chambers. That's a, that's a deficit, man. That's a detriment. Gain one energy if you have exactly one card of each class in your hand. I can't promise that. I can't promise that we can make that happen. Sickle. Deal six damage on blockable. Steal the latest buff from the target. You know what? Give me one of those. That sounds fun. That cost me 14 HP. And you know what? Why don't you go ahead and remove... Um, you can remove a basic block at this point. This is a, a very thin deck uh, daddy sort of situation here. I do like the copper weights. Why not? And you know what? Let, let's get one more healer in here. I think we're actually going to complete this. Like, 
I know I said that last time, but I, I said that last time and we uh, achieved uh, transcendence last time. Four block and lullaby for midwife. Four damage, steel card. Okay. I would like to zero out the cost of the bard song, please, and then play the bard song. Uh, I would like to defend slightly. And you know what? I'd like to get a little extra heal on top of that. NL is my favorite YouTuber. This is the first live stream I've ever caught. Welcome, welcome. I am, uh, I'm, I'm happy to welcome you. I'm just trying to see what I want for madness here. I mean, we could steal lullaby, but we're unlikely to need it. My God, his deck is so thin. Holy frick, you're going to make me draw? And I know the memes. So she gets stronger over time. Hold on. If she gets stronger over time, you know what that means? That means we can gain strength by making them do a deliberate amount of damage. How about that? And then why don't you give me lullaby? It totally worked. I'm a genius? I'm the smartest person on earth? We might as well just hit you. Like, I don't want the filth right now. We drew it again. This guy is insane. He's an insane gaming dad. Look at that. We gained strength. We got like super heals coming in here. You always want this super uh, block, man. Plus, like, you already know the vibes. Um, give me that crazy strength, please. Oh my god. The man has hit like levels of gaming hitherto unknown. Yes, sir. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that I can't get it out of my head, but I but I kind of love it. I'm not going to deny that. Take, go ahead, take my spells. My, take my overkill. Take my spell steal. I already, already got what I needed out of it. Hey, you stole my strength, you jerk. Ten damage? You're going to block a corpse, huh? That's cool. I'm, I'm happy for you. Oh, son of a... Never mind. I'm not happy for you. I'm actually fairly upset. You're doing eight damage? We'll still play this. We have unlocked the Quartermaster. It must suck to, like, die twice. Like, I don't give you my permission to bring me back if I'm just gonna die again right afterwards. We should have played this early. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just need to hit you, but like you're kind of, I'm just going to be honest, you're kind of annoying. Every time I do damage to you, you get a little stronger. I guess that's like the point, but if you don't get mad, you die twice. Isn't that right, fellow gamers? I didn't mean to play that. That's my bad. I, I could see how you would be confused and think I wanted to play it because I clicked on it and dragged it out to the battlefield, but that's not the case. I did charge up the arm, though. You're not wrong. Got to charge up. Can't forget to charge the arm. You already know the vibe. Let me cop the arm. Okay, we don't need to play Bard's Song here. You have Unholy Link. Gain 100% of the healing the enemy receives. I mean, like... I don't want to steal filth. You know what? I do want to steal filth. You know why? Because then you don't have it, and I can at least smack you once. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Battle Shout. Gain two strength. Play this. Play your Battle Shout. Okay. And then I don't really care if you die or not. Ooh, hold on. Gold Feather, dude. Yeah, make, make that cheap. Six to eight damage. But it gets stronger over time with the draws. Dude, you're, t you're freaking toasted, man. Four to six. I don't want you to die. We got to make sure we overkill you. You're supposed to be, like, tough and scary. That's actually so sad for you because I'm just actually going to destroy you instead. Ten block for self? Comical. A, a comical display. I'll just, I'll take it from you because I can. How about that? Twelve damage. We sweat that zero. 
Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You have to remember, though. You already know the vibes. Ten block for self. We don't sweat it. We give you one of these. You got no buffs. It's just going to take us a while, because, like, uh, apparently I just never, ever... Um, I guess we might as well, right? I just never, ever choose to take any defense in my... Uh, in my decks, I exclusively run offense only, um, and it's been working, I'm going to admit, I admit, it is working. Ooh, Papa died so early. Dude, you're, you're mistaken. Ooh, Papa, that was a, that was a meme that lasted, uh. I mean, by meme standards, I thought it lasted a reasonably long time. And it's still going. You already know the vibes. All right. This boss, absolutely no problem whatsoever. Shadow drop. Converts healing into damage on the target. That actually could be good. I like the way he's just waving, too. He's like, goodbye. <laughs> See ya. I'm dying. The dagger is nice, though. Um, especially with the extra strength we have. Yeah, I, I, it's hard to say no to that. Healing on you damages enemies. That's good stuff. Um, take me to... Extra gold. Yeah, sure. I'll do damage reduced by 30. It doesn't bother me. Her. Mm. Okay, always want... You're doing 8 damage? I always want strength. Just give me the easy plays here early on. Okay, gold feathers. Wait, healing hurts us right now. No, healing's reduced. Okay, that's fine. Gold feather. And then let's make conjure chains 0 from now on. We're going to absolutely love life now. Midwife... You gotta kind of kill the midwife all in one go. I think if I kill you, you will do no damage to me ever again. So if you'll excuse me, um, I would like to steal your holy shield for 12 and then start smacking you around. I guess I could just kill you instead, but you know, I've already, I'm pot committed at this point. Might as well brain flush. You usually, uh, usually draw more daggers anyway. And then, ooh, baby. <laughs> hey, Tomo. Yeah, I should try some of the, the... Get it out of there. I should try some of the higher difficulty levels for sure. Mostly because I'm clearly, like, so amazing that, uh, you know, it's a little... At, at this point, we need to up the difficulty level just so people know that this isn't how it's going to go for everybody. Deal six damage. Okay, this is going to be a sick overkill at least. Let's see you take on level five or six. I didn't mean to play that. Oops. Um, now that I've... Uh... I think we should just try to ice you. Mission accomplished. Now that I've unlocked difficulty, can I go straight to, to five or six? Like, I, I, mean, I assume that I would die for sure, but it could also be funny. And funny, funny is the name of the game um, when you're when you have my skills in the realm of gaming. Go straight to a twenty, dude. Four to six block and a draw is pretty nice. Succession's been cool too, but all right, um, we cannot go to the sanctum. Every round, the first used cards' energy usage will be dealt as magic damage to all enemies. Interesting, very interesting. It's a new boss. Call for aid, Queen. Elsa, healing is increased by 200%, can only be killed if alone in the chamber. Okay, I understand. I understand. I'm going to start with a bard's song, because I can. You're not doing anything right now, so I'm going to brain flush you. And this is the beauty. Quick little battle shout. Quick little one of these. Quick little one of those. Get a gold feather going. Make conjure chains free. Nothing can defeat me. 
Okay, so here come the enemies. Midwife. Heal 24 on self, you do 6 damage. Midwives are very annoying in this game, though. Um, you know, oh, dude, check this out. I'm a genius. I'm the smartest man in the world. Give me block, and then buff your strength up as high as it'll go. You ready for this? You ready for this? Strength to eight. Then we steal it. We simply steal it from you. She didn't die. She didn't die to the overkill. I thought for sure she was toasted. Hello. Hello. Yo. Whoa, this looks this looks new. Chicken katsu curry. Yo, chicken katsu curry. How about that? Chicken. You know what that's from? Family Feud Canada. I always feel like a piece of garbage when my wife comes in and she drops off some lunch and then she has to carry all my sparkling water cans out with two hands. I feel like a, I feel like a degenerate. Like I'm, I'm 14 years old again and my mom's like, she knows I won't clean my room so she comes in and just takes them. It, 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 really, it, it does a little number on my self-esteem. I'm not going to deny it. Okay, this is as powerful as it'll ever be. But we're doing, like, insane damage. Because we stole her incredible uh, strength last time. Like, this is it's going very well. The gamer's dream. No, I cleaned my desk, like, literally... Yesterday. Um, get out of here. I don't think this works. <laughs> Whatever, go ahead. Heal, heal the corpse for eight. See if I care. Um, but I just drank three cans of sparkling water in the interim period. Okay, well, it, it worked. I just didn't know what I was looking for. Call for aid. What if instead of calling for aid, I just freaking, I freaking killed you? We need an 8 and a 7. That's not easy. Okay, uh, mission failed. No, mission succeeded! <laughs> Don't you need to pee? I, I do need to pee a little bit. Yes, not, not wrong. You're not wrong. So we've completed our quest. Reward quest. Gold on 1, silver on 1. Okay, cool, yeah. Hey there, many thanks for playing this early build of Deepest Chamber. Still a while off from full release, but we deeply appreciate your interest. Psh, you want you want to see something special? Get ready. Let's crank up this difficulty a little bit. Deal 11 or more damage with a warrior card. I'm I'm happy to turn that on. Can can you only do difficulty in um salvage runs or can you do them in quest runs as well? I'm happy with either. NL, you've gotten really good at games like this. I'm amazed how far you've come from what it was like before. I mean, genuinely before, it was like a disaster, right? I mean, we like I would just take every card, because I was like, any a card is better than empty space. We, we've, we've come a long way. All right, so let's do, let's do, you know what? Let's do a salvage run. And then, oh, we can only go to difficulty two. I bet we can get two, um... I bet we can get two runs left and maybe do a, a super run. We'll see. Ch transform melee attack. What did it become? Shield tactics. That's a, a big upgrade in my world. I used to... You're not wrong. I used to be a thick deck daddy. Damage reduced, but you get a mage card. Extra potion. When entering, you lose a large percentage of your HP. You get it back at the end. Yeah, so we don't want this fight to end too fast. Six damage. All right. All right. So we're just... You got to reflect. You don't like to see that. We need the heavy block energy. And then we'll just start to work down your holy shield. What's your go-to for ice cream? I don't want to tell you because I feel like... Um, people have very strong opinions on, on ice cream. How much do you heal? Heals for six? Oh, because we have corrupt spirit. So it'll heal for 12. Let's get one more card going. Mission failed. I'm I'm a mint chocolate chip kind of guy. I love that it tastes like toothpaste, and I'm not even joking. Nine damage. 
You're gonna heal him for 10? Well, we're gonna be on this fight for the rest of our lives. And the Blight is not even gonna heal us as much as I needed it to. Oh no. How much we we got five on that? Okay, that's fine. They do that damage. We're gonna we're gonna be very light on HP here early on. No, I'm a, I'm not joking. I'm a mint chocolate chip Marty. It's the corrupt spirit kept us from healing. Like, please give me an attack, thank you. Uh, it kept us from healing as much as I'd like to. So it's gonna take us a bit to get back there, but that's okay. 8 to 12 damage. Each usage reduces its power. When drawn, all enemies are damaged for one. I kind of think that was not very good for us last time. Just being honest. Take me on a normal fight here. Increase card cost and stun. Stun is horrible. Um, but I think we can just... Uh, we'll retain 8 block. Yeah, okay. Let, let's just put up a block, accept our stun. Alright, that actually sucks horribly. Took a decent chunk of damage there. Okay, eight damage. Dude, this... Okay, they weren't they weren't messing about with the difficulty stuff. I think we gotta be a little bit more uh, aggressive. So you're doing how much? 13 to 15 damage? I'll accept that. We gotta be a little bit more aggressive for sure. We gotta do more damage. Five to seven damage. That's what you like to see. He's actually dead. I am an ice cream guy. Like, uh... Don't get me wrong. I, you know, gelato, sorbet, sherbet. Might as well put up a lot of this because we're gonna be stunned for a turn. I got, uh, I got nothing against them. Um, but I, I do love ice cream as well. I love it enough that I don't buy it unless we're we're out at like an ice cream parlor or something. Resurrection one. Uh, what about resurrection none instead? Whatever, get bodied. I can't believe he lived. Resurrection one. Okay. Jeez, he was, we we could have been there all day. We need to find a way to do more damage. Slick hands? Draw draw two for zero? That's something that's hard to uh, say no to, for sure. Increase card cost, inject curse card. Well, we have to heal. I think we want to kill the lamplighter as soon as possible. That's what I'm learning. Take one. Okay, that's fine. Draw two. You took seven, so five would kill you. Let's see if we draw a fireball. We didn't. Um, I'm willing to bet this is a two-thirds chance to kill you. What can I say? Mission accomplished. Yeah, hey, man. I'm not a lamp. Why are you trying to light me? Classic burn. An attack, please? An attack? No, sure. Okay, I'll just take another curse real quick then. Get bodied. Next round, gain more energy. Shuffle three scale cards into your hand. Gain seven block and shuffle back. The cards in your hand will be discarded into the draw pile. I just want to receive some attacks. <laughs> I, just, I just want some attacks. Give me preparation. We need some offense. Deal one more magic damage. No, I will not accept that damage. Okay, Margaret, I need to speak to you. I'm going to sell you a defense card. And I, I desperately need something that can help me get some more damage, okay? I must be honest. 50% uh, of healing damage is enemies. That's offense. Spell steal is actually sick. We just don't have the money, unfortunately. Put a card from your discard pile on top of the draw, draw pile. There are synergies there, but that's fine. We'll figure something out. When drawing cards, their energy energy cost gets randomized. I, Not yet. Not yet. Deal 7 to 10 damage next round. Lose all block. I can't, I can't do that. Buddy, I can't do that. Okay, I, I descend. 
I'm not going to do it for the Zane just because of the fact that I don't have any... Uh, I have, like, one expensive card. Okay, you're doing five to seven damage. Here's what I'm thinking. Give me extra energy next turn. We'll put up some heavy blocks. I don't, I don't want to draw my, my cards when I've got good energy coming next turn. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Great heal. Citizen. Citizen can be destroyed. We'll retain some block. Now we're drawing. Just... Oh, yeah, we're stunned. That's right. Six damage, no sweat. Any form of damage would, would save us a, a lot of problems right now. Six, four block, and strength for self. I choose not to take damage instead of uh, knocking you out. Because I'm not worried about you. You know? You're, 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 you're nothing. You're not even supposed to be, like, around in the area. Four damage, please. This only does two to three. I'm highly upset. We are doing no damage whatsoever. Okay, finally an enemy has died. Luckily, I only have, like, two different cards in my deck. So, I, you know, it's not that big of an ask when this guy gives me amnesia. What is your favorite source of this amino acid? I wish I had a, an answer for you. Yeah, go ahead. Give me one of those. I wish I had an answer for you. Um... I don't. I, I just... I, I simply do not. Please. A single attack. Um, shellfish? You know, th that's a fun one. We've got a lot of amino acids in there. At least we avoided his stun. Amnesia? Amnesia's like nothing. Dude, I gotta... <laughs> oh, we got him! We got him! We got him! Okay, I think he did just wake up again, though, but let's not worry about that. Rewards. One additional chamber choice every floor. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh, it's because I... Did I do enough damage to... No, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I need... Okay, don't quite kill him. Just get close to killing him. And then hit him twice next turn. Please. He's done it. All right, now we're talking. Damage, please. Damage. Okay, you know what? Acid is damage. We, we can't afford to be picky anymore. Take me on some normals here. Corrupt spirit. The jester is always annoying. This is good, though. Do I want to heal for two? Not as much as I want to do some damage this turn. Don't disrespect those fireballs. Reflect. What if I could kill you before you reflected? What if I... Can't. That's fine. <laughs> Careful, he's in the front row with Finale. I know what you're talking about. I get the picture. You're vulnerable and you have Reflect. I hate that. Let's just throw some acid on this priest instead. 12 damage. That's so rude. Give me energy next turn. I'm not worried. The acid is going to roast this fryer. Like, he's he's toasted. Speaking of fryer, did I tell you we got our air fryer set up? It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a pivot in terms of uh, the content of the banter, but... What did we make first? Um, so, with the Korean food that... that shows up as part of this like meal service sometimes they have like fried chicken but it was cooked at their office or whatever their kitchen and then frozen not frozen but refrigerated and then shipped to us so when you eat it after like reheating it it's a little gummy so we put it in the air fryer and it crisped up like it was very good it was very good I did not mean to play that my mistake we don't eat, we don't eat a lot of uh, of frozen food, but when we have some or or stuff that's uh, that's somewhat similar, now I know what to do with it. It's also we're using it for baby food predominantly. She eats a lot of buffalo wings. Um, okay, hold on. We have acid. Officially, we can do damage now. 
Deal eight damage. Deal four more if they're afflicted by acid. We can definitely make that happen. I do not want to do blight anymore. I feel like that kind of screwed me. The spicy ones? Yeah, she loves it. She gets the uh, Vindaloo wings. Um, paper cut. The heck is paper cut? Well, under the effects of paper cut, suffer unblockable damage every time you use a card. Yo, that's nasty, man. Uh, perpetual block of one. Gain 50% of the block that the enemy gains? You gotta go, dude. You're a, you're a problem. Maybe I will wishlist this on Steam. That's a, you're like an audience plant. Thank you for reminding me. You can type exclamation point deepest chamber. And as a result, you can wishlist this on Steam. It is not out yet. Um, but you can wishlist it and uh, be notified of its, its development. Every time we play a card, we take one damage. Absolutely hate to see it. Are we still- we're still paper-cutted, too. And you're so healed, man! This is like... Whatever, guess what? There's some acid for you? I'm gonna stab you in the freaking face. How about that? You, you think you're so cool. At least we're not paper-cutted anymore. He does have perpetual block, though, which is like insanely annoying. Okay, we're gonna take a prep turn. Because we can. We, we might actually die. I'm embarrassed to say it. Guess even more acid. You got three and five. How do you feel about that, dummy? Draw some cards. We don't need shield. Oh, we do need shields because we have acid. Oh, it's unblockable. So, well, I'd still like to draw. Okay, get killed, please. Stop healing him! I'm freaking paper cutted, man. <laughs> I'm so upset. Okay, you're finally dead. I'm still paper cutted, but it, you know what? Just pass this turn. I don't want to get paper cutted anymore. We don't have any acid on us anymore. Get get out of here! Oh my god. Well, at least this is the last one on this floor, I think. Okay, get toast. We need to heal desperately. We can actually make discharge work nicely here. All right, I think the I think that the the dev was correct. When you have two or more thief cards in hand, gain acid throwing. Okay, we're kind of doing something like that. We need to live. I feel like getting a second heal is the only way we make that happen. Dump melee attack from this deck. We got enough damage now. We have four gold. I will be leaving. I think the devs are right. The devs are right. It's gonna... Difficulty one turns out to be around where I... Uh, where I cash out. I can't seem to make it past. Okay. We have two minutes. The, your clock begins now. You're gonna paper cut me, you son of a gun. You're, you're the worst, man. Um, the heal is highly necessary. Oh, that felt, that felt sick, honestly. You're gonna hit me for eight? I choose to accept this. Um... We're gonna get paper cut it next turn. Oh my god. Okay, we'll get hit for 12 then. You're almost dead. So we have to heal. It had to be done. I can't believe that this is kind of working. We are still paper cutted. But we lived. Okay, actually, this deck is sick. I'm the greatest gamer. Apply three polymorph, which I'm assuming is like transforms into something that does nothing. Um, I think I'm going to try to get warm light going for like super heals. And maybe we can just heal ourselves so much that the enemies just die. <laughs> Although, I need to draw a heal here in order for warm light to do anything. But then again, I won't have the energy to play both if we do that. So, um, you still, you got to play the heal. Double the effects of the next potion. <laughs> Well, can't do too much about that. Reflect on Mudlark. I guess Warm Light would have helped us on the next one. Time's ticking. You're not wrong. Time's, time keeps on ticking. Um, we've lost our bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we lost our bonus. Deal 9 damage. 
Stab? You're these guys are afflicted by acid. I don't know what I did, but you're afflicted by acid. Okay. Clock is a piece, dude. Clock is a piece. We're hev heavily paper cut. No question about that. Give me the warm light. Give me some draw. I don't think we have another heal coming. Why am I? Why am I trying to get some warm light going? Lucky. We still got paper cut, but that's okay. We need more block, please. We, we're not gonna get it. We're not gonna get it. One HP. I can't play a card. Paper cut will kill me. No, it won't kill me because I don't have paper cut. All right, easy, easy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stop. Stop saying yes, sir. Okay. Uh, we're not taking cards because we absolutely need to draw heals. Discard X cards, then draw that many. I uh, sure. Yeah. Let's fight the elite. What could possibly go wrong? Seven to eleven damage. Okay. Here's what you do. Discard X cards, then draw that many. Drink it up. I would like to discard everything that is not our heal to get warm light. Mission heavily failed. Mission failed unsuccessfully. Um, greatest heal of our lives. That healed us for 12, so we cannot be killed. Which is wonderful news. We just gotta kill you next turn. And then I think we might be okay. Corrupt spear. Shadow drop. Healing turns into damage. I mean, obviously that's not great, but hold on. Start with some slick hands. I Ideally... Yeah, yeah, ideally I would like warm light, even though we're not going to get another heal in time to use it, I think. We can at least kill you. You're going to shadow drop us. But remember, it's going to do damage to us if we heal right away. So, like, just get some damage out there. You got 2 HP. That's a lot of room to work with. This this guy's in acid 4. Okay, you're doing a lot of damage. We have no draw. We have been killed. Okay, fair enough. You know what? You've killed us. I bet you think that makes you cool, but it doesn't. <laughs> I'll be back to do one more run. I'm just going to run to the bathroom super quickly. In the meantime... I muted myself. In the meantime, just type exclamation point deepest chamber. Skirt. All right, I'm back. This will probably be our last run. So if you like what you saw, make sure to wishlist the game. Exclamation point deepest chamber will uh, will get you there. Let's try a potion this time. Smoke bomb's pretty good. <laughs> did you forget the bevy? I did forget the bevy. I can't deny that I forgot the bevy. Negate strength, 9 damage, and blind draw. I think I've regressed over time here. So, this is simple. This is simple. You're going to reflect an attack. You almost got me, you son of a gun. We hit you instead. Four block. You're going to corrupt spirit? I don't sweat a corrupted spirit. Honestly, just another day at the office. Weaken, 8 damage. I don't think I can kill you. 11... 
If this does eight, we could have killed you. No, wait, we can still kill you. I'm just bad at mathematics. It didn't work, but it could have worked, and that's the important part. Nine damage and blind draw. Okay, we're forced to take a little damage. Life goes on. Total wins, zero of 1,000. Hey, that's actually nonsense, though, because we do have two wins hither to this point. We have a salvage win and a quest win, I might add. Number one thing, what do you need? Damage. Six damage changes when a card is used. That's very good. Counterspell's interesting, too, but... I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like going damage build. Like, give me as many cards as possible. We need to remove a card for the duration of the chamber. We don't need heal. It's, it's, it's too early for it to be useful. You're going to reflect an attack. You hate to see it. Because you're going to reflect an attack, guess what? You're not getting attacked. Bet you feel stupid now. Deals 10 damage. Doesn't get better than that. Dude. A more powerful citizen can now appear. Please talk to the stinky nerds when you have the option. <laughs> um, you know what? Per perhaps I will talk to the stinky nerds. What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> I'm on Twitch. <laughs> what do you mean I'm on Twitch? So I'm already talking to the stinky nerds. They're called chat. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of them. They're you. Cleave is is money in the bank. AOE is money in the bank. Blight is too scary, man. Take me healing is reduced by 100% doesn't scare me. 5 to 7 damage. 9 is really good. Like that's I I I consider that to be heavily acceptable and then please just do 5 instead of 7. He did 7. You hate to see it. We need to do eight damage. Done. Dude, I floor one, we've mastered. Like that's that's not even a contest anymore. Oh, you never mind. You came back to life. Um It's kind of a contest. Well, basically, this negates uh what you do there. Didn't it? Am I maybe I'm dumb. It's been suggested. Negate strength. Nine damage. You can't smell anyone over the internet? You can guess, though. Give me two block, because we're going to be stunned next turn. Oh, my healing was reduced because of corrupted... Uh, whatever it's called. Stunned, okay. You, you, you had a stun, and then you put me on amnesia. That's like... What a waste. You must be so embarrassed right now. Okay, finally, mission accomplished. Uh, no, he's got resurrection! Come on, man. Every time. Okay, so get him close to death, but don't kill him. And then hit him twice next turn. Done. Alright, alright. More damage, please. Succession's pretty cool. I'll, I'll take succession. Exchange potion. We lost way more HP than I'm proud to admit. Pick a card to always appear in your starting hand. Who? I think an early cleave is always going to be heavily pog. You can't control when you get that, unfortunately, but that's okay. Self-inflicted damage also heals. Man. Honestly, seems like uh, something that might happen to me by accident a lot. So let's give that a try. And I will sell you a basic melee attack, a basic strike. How you doing here? Gain one energy if you have one card from each class in your hand. That's tough. You know what? I'll, I'll pay 10 HP for, for Conjured Chains. Like, that's a great card. No, Slay the Spire is not a, a banned sentiment here. Um, it's just people, like, they're, they're kind of jerks about it sometimes. Like, a game can be inspired by another game and, like, iterate on the genre without it being, like, a, a fast follow, like, uh, you know, app store uh, cash grab. You know what I mean? Hold on. 
Six damage, corrupt spirit. You handle it like this. You just handle it like that. You know, this isn't a situation... Like, clearly there's inspiration from Slay the Spire and, and other roguelites as well, but... It's not a situation where, uh, you know, Fall Guys came out, and then they're like... Hey, we're gonna make a game called, like, The Men Who Fall, and then put it on the App Store with, like, heavily advertising. Okay, six damage. We need the heal. What if I just kill you instead and then heal? How about that? Autumn lads, yeah, un autumnal individuals. I don't know, like, what do you do? You want like uh, uh, to be made a road scholar or something? Are there some similarities between this and and Slay the Spire for sure? You know, Slay. There's similarities between Slay the Spire and uh, Dominion. Absolutely. Are there similarities between Dominion and a, a pack of 52 bicycle playing cards? Yeah, that's how we get from, from point A to point, you know, forever. I don't think I want any of these. I think I'm happy where I stand. Yeah. We healed nicely. Dude, we're gonna win. Let's fight this elite right away. Because then we get the trinket early! <laughs> okay. I got it all figured out, man. I'd rather hit you first. We could heal later or, or not heal at all. I'd rather hit you first. Yeah, if we didn't have chess, we wouldn't have Fortnite. Remember that. Okay, little damage incoming. That's okay, though. Quick heal. Quick damage. Oh, but you heal when I heal. Ah, oh, whatever. You were at full. Who cares? Okay, 13 damage. F. Heavy F energy. This is what we needed. I'm so glad we took this card. You're gaining block. But I'm still smacking you. I'm still... Hey, look at that. We even hit the corpse. Uh, he's called the Fallen Knight, but he appears to be standing. Well, well, the devs are here. You can ensure that somebody gets fired for that blunder. Ten block. You know what? I'll take my free seven damage. 13 damage. Dude, we're, we're in the rhythm. I didn't think it would happen, but we are in the rhythm. It might take us a minute, but we got him under control. We always need to put up a little block. And then 9 damage, please. Because we need that block for the next turn. M much of the time, at least. Draw 2. Alright, mission heavily failed successfully. 2 block. I think we can make it happen with two block. I wish you had the stun card. You can make him fall over. See? You, you chat, you think you know everything. You didn't realize. He's called the Fallen Knight for a, for a cool reason. Now look at you. You should know. Your wife kissed me on the cheek on my way in. Now look at you. Alright, we're, we're like, this is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Give me the super block. We're gonna get you, it's just gonna take a minute. Thank God there's no time limit on this one. We, like, I don't know, you might ask yourself, why does this guy play the strictly inferior block? I, I wish I had an answer for you. I'm just fundamentally like a broken human being. Come on, man. 17 damage. 10 damage. 5 damage. Oh, finally! Okay. Free trinket. 22 block and maintain stance. Drastically increases retaining block. Add a rust card into your draw pile. Uh, no, Rust is a different game. I would like to... I, I'm gonna take nothing, man. I'm gonna take nothing. Unskippable choices are now skippable. How about that? 
Put me on normal. I definitely think we can beat difficulty two. You're gonna disable a trinket. Hopefully only temporarily. Maybe not. Maybe that's permanent. That's scary. I don't think I can stop you, though. Like, this is as good as Succession gets. Ebony Blade is pretty strong. You had to play Succession first to get the value out of it, dummy. We tried. What the heck? You, you broke my, uh, my starting card. You dang jerk. Should have gotten the bevy. I feel the throat getting a little... <coughs> a little... Ahem. Okay, okay. Yo, really? The blood shop counts as self-healing because of this trinket. That's actually incredible. I had no idea. Yep, you get free buys. Yo, now that's... Don't patch that out. On the first draw of each chamber, changes into a random card. I'm, I'm not afraid of a little Zane. Additional energy at the start of a chamber? That's also amazing. Yes, sir. Okay, well, let, let's see then. Let's see if it works. I would like you to... Give me another cleave, then. Look at that. Oh, it's a, it doesn't heal you, it just does the damage, and then also, it, it took us back to even. Okay, I understand. Um, take blind, you'll love it. Randomly retarget the actual intent. Okay, fine. The dev says take, I take. I'm a simple man. You can't buy all, though, because you only get two uh, per chamber, I think. Probably to keep it from being abused, I guess. Oh, first, first they rip off Slay the Spire, and now they put a, a, a asset from another game right into it. You're not gonna get the joke right now because you can't see it. But oh, yes, you can. Never mind. Wow, man, they took the they ripped the knight right out of chess. You expect us not to notice it? Every round you draw. Five cards from your draw pile manually before enemies reveal their intents. I can't even figure out what that means, but I'm, I'm excited to give it a shot. Can we put that quote on the Steam page? <laughs> hey, do whatever you gotta do. Don't tell, yeah, don't tell Levy. Levy will be upset. You're my remains. Let's go. Okay. So, we get to choose five cards. Give me this every time. Give me cleave. Give me blind, because the dev said you should take it. And then give me changeling, because it's a meme. Um, okay, five damage, paper cut, steel card. Randomly retarget the actual intent. First off, block. Then, you're going to paper cut yourself. Wow, I bet you feel mighty stupid right now. And then get smacked. <laughs> You get, well, that, that's how it goes, right? Like, he gave himself a paper cut. I usually give myself paper cuts, too. Okay, this is not the best turn, but that's fine. We got 16 damage coming out. Is there a chance I could kill you? Yes. I really wanted that to hit, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We got a lot of filth in this deck, but we did get our heal back as well. I would like to draw... As little filth as possible, please. <laughs> Personally, the, the less filth... Okay, you know what? I'll skip that. Why don't you just go ahead and give me a handful of filth? Oh, I just drew nothing. <laughs> Alright, uh, go ahead and give me a handful of filth. And then... Take blind again. That, that, that was a bad turn. You know what? First off, give me a quick heal. Thank you. Um, hmm. Give me some block.
10 damage for Quartermaster. Enemies won't attack, though, because I'm going to play the Smoke Bomb Potion. And then I'd like to draw. Cleave's always Pog City. I'm basically betting on being able to finish this off. Hold on, you can't do it like this. You have to do it like that. Okay, now we're talking. Before we end up being forced to just endlessly draw filth over and over. Eight damage? I don't know if I don't know if my master plan is gonna come to pass. We did this in bad order as well. Okay, and then I'd rather not be paper cut. I'll get paper cut for one, that's fine. I'm stupid. I, I thought after I picked one, it would just give me that one card and I would win. There you go. You know what? Growing pains. Plenty of potions. We got our remains back too. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Gain defense. Modifies block gain. Slick Cans is pretty good. This is amazing. Healing damages enemies. Double the effect of the next potion. We need some normals here. Okay, we always want to heal. Blind is still pretty cool. You're doing six damage, so here's what you do. Heal yourself. It will do a lot of damage to other enemies. Um, why don't... We'll play this just for fun. Why don't you blind get blinded? You're going to hit the Jester for six. I love to see it. And then, don't decrease my draw. Yeah, just break a trinket instead. Uh, it will get good block. Yeah, it's a trinket that allows me to select the, the cards I want to draw here. In case you find yourself befuddled, which is uh, understandable, quite frankly. Gotta be honest, I, I think we just play this. I'm very worried about your reflect. As a result, I will not play my cleave. Always? I mean, blind is fun, but it's kind of expensive right now. Let's see if we can do it like this instead. Okay. Nobody has a reflect. So a, a double cleave should do incredible work here. You are going to put me in acid. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. You think I can get him and just hurt himself? Nope. <laughs> okay, well, get killed then. Hmm. I don't mind removing a debuff, but I'm unconvinced. I remain unconvinced. Give me give me an extra no, give me an extra no, give me give me an extra curse. Okay. Always want heals. Changeling is just I, I take it for sport. And blind is just fun. Like blind on, on the paper cut guy. It well. Hold on. Maximize a card's properties for this chamber's duration. I have no idea what that means, but it costs zero. Select card to maximize. Blind. <laughs> it's maximized. Okay, fantastic. Um, well, I think I'll accept the paper cut. And I'll just have you... Yeah, hit somebody else. I appreciate that. We'll just get some raw damage. Cleave's gonna crush here. You had to reflect, didn't you? I'm a fool. It's a handful of filth. I think we're gonna die. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've thought about it. And I believe we are we are going to perish. 16 damage incoming. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We're not supposed to it's order, dude. I think we're we're not dead already. That is a filthy hand. I need some you know what? Yes, target each other. And then give me like several blocks. <laughs> Paper cut, eight damage, blind draw. You should. I'm dead. I'm dead. Head eyes. I'm dead. I lived. Okay, but we have paper cut. So every card we play, um, kills us. <laughs> Death by paper cut. Um, well, you know, they kind of fell apart at the end there. I thought I was doing some good stuff, but, uh, you know, it just goes to show you difficulty too. No joke. This has been a bit of an extended look at the deepest chamber. You can, you can type exclamation point deepest. And when you do so, you will be able to uh, go to the Steam store page. Sorry, I was on my headphone cord. Uh, you can go to the Steam store page and uh, wishlist it. That's your call to action. You should wishlist this because it's not available yet. You have the opportunity to get in on the ground floor, rocket ship emoji. It's going to the moon, exclamation point, deepest chamber. Give it a try. This was a sponsored segment. Thanks so much for the sponsorship. It's not just uh, fiduciary in nature. We also got the chance to uh, take an exclusive look at the game, which is exciting. And uh, wish you the best of luck, devs. I'm excited to see where it goes from here. For now, we're going to take like a very small break. And I'll be back... Uh, 